Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1,210 of our trek, and it is time for our three-minute mini-trek called Wisdom Unplugged. This short nugget of wisdom includes an inspirational quote with a little bit of additional content for today's trek. Consider this your vitamin supplement of wisdom for today. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. Today's quote is from Johann Sebastian Bach, and it is, I was made to work. If you are equally industrious, you will be equally successful. So today's snippet is, I was made to work. Work in our Western cultures at times has a negative connotation. Yet a hardworking person is looked on with esteem. What a dichotomy. We have to realize that from the very beginning of creation, every human was made to work. Certainly there are abuses in allowing work to become all-consuming, And as with any addiction, if that is your sole focus, then relationships and your health of your body, soul, and mind will suffer. In order to be successful, hard and smart work is a requirement. While we were designed to work and should work hard with enjoyment, from the beginning of creation, there is also a place for rest. This requires a plan on how and when you work. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5 tells us, Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. What is the focus of your work? And to what end do you work? Without proper focus and a goal for working hard, it will become drudgery, as King Solomon mentions several places in Ecclesiastes. This kind of thinking is wrong. Our work is a service and offering to God, and should not be taken lightly, nor should we be lazy. Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. For success in any area of life, we should work fervently, but not to the detriment of our family or other relationships. We should work hard to fulfill God's purpose of building His kingdom here on earth. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive His approval. Be a good worker one who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly explains the word of truth. We should work enthusiastically, so everyone who sees us will realize that we are working for a higher purpose than just earning income, so they can see we are working to do what is pleasing to God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 7 Work with enthusiasm, as though you are working for the Lord rather than people. And that's a wrap for today's Wisdom Unplugged quote. If you'd like free access to my database of over 11,000 inspirational quotes, the link is available on the main page of wisdom-trek.com. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of wisdom, encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,209 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day's Trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this Trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Worldview Wednesday.